Two Girls One Blood podcast with these beautiful. What the fuck, bitches? bitches? Oh my god, Jamie and Emily, are we gonna have some fun? We're gonna have a no, lot of fun. We're gonna have no fun at all. <laughs> no fun. I don't you can't zoom. I'm just trying to zoom. I don't know how to do it. Let's go. Hey, girl, you trying to hit this? Oh, you know exactly what I need. All right, we Gucci. Yeah. I love how it just like turns on. Do you need more? No. <laughs> We're just gonna pass it right take now. My you. Fucking chapstick. <laughs> All right. Fuck. You dropped it, dude. That was karma coming for me. I have a question. We did get really high, Do and you, I know I'm you're stoked. probably way I'm higher. I'm not that high. Right oh no, I'm so high. Do you shave every part of your body, or just Listen, your arms? You want to see? So. <laughs> I just, my legs are growing out right now, so okay. it feels like a little unshaved vagina. Oh, I love that. I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you like it bald? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Different strokes for but different it sucks folks. because girls wax, right? And then you have to wait for it to grow in. Yeah. Oh, I got laser, yeah. baby. I don't love, if I get a little furry, I don't want a little piece of hair after I go to Munchtown so for about 30 So do you fully minutes. shave your pubes? Do you get your balls, too? Let me see them. <laughs> There's, there's, they get a little. I was like, <laughs> let me they're, in there. They're like my legs right now. They're like my legs right now. So yes, I shave, and I'm afraid to shave well, my balls. I, like, and I know okay. you can do that. I like okay. pubes that are trimmed, almost like a buzz cut, like a five o'clock oh, shadow. Like a, you, a little, you, you, a you little. like to run a tight ship down there. Like yeah, a yeah. I want to clean, but I like hair. I think hair is manly and it's hot. I, I like just, hair. I found out that girls love less hair and guys. Like I, all my DMs are gay guys. I'm literally the gay token. They want to see you be a bear. I don't oh. know, but they're like, please keep your chest hair. And right now... Bring it back, Smoochie. No, I'm all about the chest right hair. Now, there's some, no, but that like, looks it was great. Great. That looks great. That looks great? Oh, yeah. it's a good length. Yeah, but even, yeah. If, even if it was more, I think it's I just like manly. I like a fuzzy man. A fuzzy yeah, man? Yeah, me too. Date a furry. A, a bur- <laughs> I would never date a furry, first of all, but I would date I'm a werewolf. I'm like, that was my first love. <laughs> don't bring it up and hurt me, okay? Oh, beanie babies. Oh, beanie babies? too. My sister would collect them. Did you ever fuck them? Uh, you look like the type. What were weird things? Beanie baby? No, they were, no, they were too small. And I have a small penis. <laughs> They're too small. You have a small penis? <laughs> like six and a half. Is it like girthy? No, it's like a Dixon Ticonderoga. Well, do you eat pussy? <laughs> so I never did for like ten years. Why? Get this. Get this. So when Wait, I was so you 16, had a small dick and you didn't eat pussy? 16? It's not small. It's average. Okay. <laughs> I make the joke. I make. I make the joke. I have a five-inch pink pepper, but it it does a job. No complaints. So. But you're Italian. You should Italian. eat pussy. Listen. Italians eat pussy. So I had a bad experience in high school. What happened? Did she have I hair it on and her it pussy? Like poop. So her for vagina? ten years, for ten years, I don't know. Maybe it was the wrong hole. <laughs> for ten years though, I didn't eat pussy again, like with girlfriends or anything. And then I did it with my most recent ex, and I fell in love with it. And I think that's maybe why I'm still in love with it. Men get traumatized once and then stop eating pussy. Girls get smegma dick and then they suck dick like they have to prove themselves for the rest Emily, of their you're lives. Emily, just talking about yourself. That's what Jeff, I was. Died, Jeff died mentioned it. He was like, yeah, if. Like, if you sucked a dick and it tasted like shit, too, you'd probably be like, oh, I don't want to suck any more dicks. You'd be no, surprised. You'd be surprised. I have daddy We're, issues. We just want to be loved. Your daddy issues. Oh, we both that, do. I was told recently, that's a good question Do we look like we don't date, have them? So you know how to approach her. If she has daddy issues? Yeah, because no, if horrible. I act too eager to you and, like, show my likeness, no, I would you're going to like that. the chase. No, I would love yes. that. Girls no, I don't fucking like say that. No, 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 no. I do not like that. the chase. Here's the thing. If you make me Chases, I'm I'm sitting we down. We don't have just daddy issues. We also have mommy issues. Oh, okay. So, so a, we need both. Yes. He asked that question too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't have issues with either necessarily. No. So is that how you open a first date? You're like, hey, did your uncle ever fuck you? Your dad? Like, what's going on? Are you okay at home, babe? No, no it's because then you know how to play it because girls want a douchebag. At the end of the day, no. girls will say they want a nice guy, okay. but you guys want a fuck we boy. We want no. a little bit of an asshole. You want someone to wait a to little text bit of you an back. No. No. No, no, We're no, going no. to brunch no, next day. No, we do day. not. Yes. yes, no. What? Hurt women want or that. these LA girls, Unhealed, maybe. Unhealed, yeah, LA you're girls. in LA. Okay. Unhealed women want that mm-hmm. because too much love. Like, some people can't accept that they're, like, they can't accept love. They can't mm-hmm. accept that somebody loves them. They don't feel even worthy of that attention. So they push it away and they turn it on the other person. Like, it's bad that they're doing that. But that's somebody who's unhealed. Somebody who's healed is like, yes, I like you. You like me. Let's talk. Like, you don't have to play those games. I don't want to. So and I'm a nice guy. I walk on the outside of the street. I pay for everything. Like, I okay. want to be a gentleman. But then girls get icked out by that. So, you, so then you, I'm like, fuck. You got I, and it always out. happens. A girl will say this, and oh, then God. I do it. And then you're like, nah. 
Because the so, chase is gone. You want what you can't have wait, naturally in life. Wait, did Jeff Dye call you out for like wanting to be in a relationship? But you're talking about like your smoochie of the week, right? And you're just having he threesomes. He said he gives fuckboy vibes. You yeah, do? Which why, honestly, yeah. you were on Fuckboy Island. And when I saw like, you, I was like, this dude is definitely a fuckboy. I was a nice a guy boy. on the show, though. You were a nice guy? Yeah. We didn't, we didn't finish it. And, we I look like, and I look like a fuckboy. You do kind of look like a fuckboy. Do fuck I act like a fuckboy? Steph no. Toll of the other night called me cocky. I can see that. It's because you're confident. It's your confidence. But I'm not, what am I doing? I mean, I'm just you like hold fucking yourself cool. very well. You, you stand don't tall. Like that. You're you strong. Really? Like you present yourself well, so people see that. And I think maybe them calling you cocky is an insecurity and projection on their part. Mm. And they're like, "Oh, this guy's better than me. He must be a fucking asshole." Yeah. Yeah. I've got that. Like you that. think you're better than me, but I'm not. And I'm like, I don't. I don't. But I just. So am. what do you? What, <laughs> so what, oh, <laughs> what's your? Uh, so what's your type of guy? What's, what's a good your, guy. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to find a husband out Does here. Does dick size matter? Being loved is what matters. <laughs> I can deal with whatever. He's I can like, I'm for I can, a friend. I can, teach, <laughs> <laughs> I can teach somebody. I don't care. Yeah, totally. Just like research purposes. So how yeah. do you feel about a Dixon Ticonderoga 10 with six inch? <laughs> yeah. Number two. Number two. I can fill out a scantron with this puppy. Yeah, no, I'm like, yeah. I can't deal with that. The moment someone like starts oh, doing God. that, I'm like uninterested. Okay. And yeah, it turns me off. It's like a huge turn off. And I'm like, okay. Really? Well, yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. There's some good girls what was, out what there. Did what did I what sing you? this morning? I was like, um, you only got one shot. Do, Do not, not miss, miss a chance, chance to blow. Because oh, this, this pussy comes once in a lifetime. Yeah, I said that. So you got that. a good pussy? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yell out into, is, yell out into good, the ether. You know what a good dick is like? Probably like a little above average, not too big, not too small, nice, clean, or perfectly groomed. Yeah. And it tastes good, smells good. What's a perfect pussy? Oh, when you can stick a finger in there, lick it, and you're like, hmm, that tastes yeah, good. Yeah, we're constantly. It tastes good or it tastes just like. like well, it tastes like, like pussy, like good pussy. I don't if know. If it tastes like pussy, I don't want to taste like pussy because pussy doesn't taste good necessarily. Well, what kind, what kind of pussy you are you like eating? Like sex smell, like a sex smell. Like, you don't like sex smell? That it's like turns me on. Like bitter, if you like, eat, smell? If, if somebody's like, eating me fucking? out, yeah, I know. You gotta stop fucking LA girls, bro. I don't yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> Four you're, of you're fucking better. You guys are sweating all the time. You're it's fucking. Yeah, because fuck- they go to Erewhon. They have good pussy. Go fuck yourself, okay? I, hate, I love the new dating app Blush. There was like a pop up event. That's a thing. What is yeah, that? Hottest girls alive at the event. Oh, I got oh. so many numbers. All guys. I don't know why I'm better at flirting with men <laughs> than girls. Maybe because I don't want to fuck them, but. And they're in Blush Dating App, it's like my favorite store. My favorite, like, there's prompts. Air One, Air One, Air One. was Air One, and now I know who not to match with because you're an expensive, bougie bitch. Yeah, that's too much. I'm a Trader Joe's hell. I like Trader Joe's. They have good snacks, but I like the name brand stuff. If I want a fucking box of Reese's Puffs, now I gotta go to Ralph's. That's so true. Two stops. Yeah. Me that's too. why we get Instacart. We just have it delivered to the house. Instacart. I've never used it. It's really? the best. We really? don't we don't I don't, well, I don't know why. We don't go anywhere. It's all I, delivered to the house. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. I need to do that because when I'm hungover, I will literally have four orders from like Ubatuba Acai. Oh, Ubatuba! Oh, Ubatuba! Oh we we my talk God. about that. It's so fucking refreshing. They sponsored one of Stop. our events in um, Ubatuba LA. is fire. We love Ubatuba, 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 Ubatuba is just the acai. Wait, we, we sent it one time. Right, we, we're like sometimes mango. No, you got to add a little crushed Oreo, oh, some you. You chocolate, chocolate chips, chips. Fuck you. fucking pineapple. Chocolate chips. Froyo if you want the crunch, okay? Acai is for fucking flavor and fun. Chocolate chips. <laughs> chocolate chips in your acai. Pineapple. Chocolate chips in my asshole. No, <laughs> in your acai. I'm trying to In your acai. In my No, I, no. What? I, no. <laughs> no. I just had a stroke. <laughs> just no. <laughs> Wait, so I got a question for you. Do you do peanut butter in your ass? Yes. Do I do peanut, peanuts in do my ass? <laughs> you want some peanut butter? <laughs> Only if we're in love. Oh. So I just actually wrote a joke about like uh, getting high, which I am right now, Woo. and uh, inventing snacks. Oh my God. Like I thought, late at night. I thought I invented like, I cursive Steve numbers, fucking bro. Jobs because I scoop the spoon in peanut butter before I go in for the cocoa puffs. I'm like... This is revolutionary. That's genius. I could have just got Reese's Puffs. Like, I, <laughs> they're like I'm just creating steps. I'm making everything more difficult. I'm not oh, smarter. That's what yeah, I'm doing in dating. To get though. Reese's Puffs, you would have to go back how, to the store. How are you doing that dating? I'm dating emotionally unavailable people that uh, I know are where emotionally do you think, unavailable. Where do you find these emotionally available gentlemen? Or no, it's women? it's it's more like a fault. They give off a false sense of confidence, but they're actually you find out later down the line they're that they're very insecure. insecure. Is that oh. you? Yeah, we're all uh, you think I'm so confident, but like deep. We're like, all insecure. I do like as much as people say. Oh, I don't care what other people think. Yes, you do. 
Yeah, everyone. Oh, everyone cares a little bit. I want to be perceived at all times, but I, I want to perceived. know how you perceive me. Yeah, it constantly I want needs you to yeah. psychoanalyze okay. There's a difference me. between not caring what people think. I'm still not gonna change who I am. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. like, it, it, you're not gonna affect me. Yes. But I just yes. like being aware mm-hmm. of how you're perceiving mm-hmm. me, so I can adjust. Because sometimes people. So it are... is affecting you. But it, sometimes <laughs> it's a good way. You know what I mean? Like we all need to improve in different ways, and sometimes you can no- other people can notice things about you that can be improved, and you can just take the constructive criticism. And it's not like a, them yeah. projecting insecurities yeah. on you. Because I have like I, I was hosting the improv the other night. I was telling you and I uh, have an ass eating joke. And some Do you guy, eat ass? Some guy. Uh, no, I did in Tam- last time I was in Tampa, like three <laughs> weeks ago, over the holidays. I don't know if it was the holiday spirit or the shrooms I was on. <laughs> was this like a rando? You eat rando ass? No, I was leaving Coastal uh, Creative uh, from a show. It was like some competition show, and so the comedic senses were firing, right? And this girl asked me if she wanted me to grab a drink with her uh, for Raya, and I was like, sure, why not? So I meet her, and she's wearing a pantsuit. So the Hillary Clinton jokes just fucking relentless. Stop. Oh. <laughs> I was saying I love her policies. How was Congress? I want to give you my declaration of independence. You're like, you want to check my email, uh, babe? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. And then I thought she was loving it. So we go back to her place and she rightfully so. She was into it. And we started hooking <laughs> Epstein up. Epstein Island. <laughs> started hooking up. And nice ass place in Tampa too. I don't know what she did. Only fans. Uh, <laughs> and then I was like, do you want me to eat your ass? And she said yes. Like, I didn't know where. She said enough. yes suspiciously quick. No. It yeah, was like no, a that's... definitive like, yes. I would say yes immediately. Immediately. Oh. I'd be like, yeah. why, haven't, why haven't you already? Yeah. Oh, see, get, so get I, feel like she was, I feel like she was waiting for me to ask. So I have to put Wait, on a you show. You guys were hooking up, right? <laughs> this wasn't a, a random question. You weren't just like random conversation. Hey, we were, you no, we were making out like seven seconds in. And you just go, can I eat your ass? Yeah. So I, now I felt like I was going to be the weirdo. Like, this oh, was give your, me that rectum. This was your first <laughs> time eating here. ass? <laughs> Get over here. Uh, first time eating ass? That yes. Was, that yes. Was, wait, really? What? Yeah. Okay, what just made you ask that question out of nowhere? I don't know. Did she have a good ass? Oh, my God. That's probably why. It was probably better than most pussies I've ever Was her place tasted. clean? It was... Was her place was super clean. So you walked in, you see her place is clean. She looks great. She has a great ass. Maybe, You're like, let me in there, baby. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. You're like, this is home. And she's hot. So like, I, this is home, the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, after a 30 minute shift at her fudge factory, I came up, <laughs> <laughs> I came up for some air and she goes. Get back down there, bitch. No, quite the opposite. She was like, uh, I think we're done here. I got the ick. I she got, got the, the ick? ick. And I was like, I got a cavity. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have dental. <laughs> She got, yeah. the, she got the ick from how you ate her and ass. She goes, yeah, I got it earlier when you kept calling me Hillary Clinton. <laughs> it was a lot. You wouldn't stop. And when I get drunk and shit, like, I don't, I want to roast my closest friends. That's yeah, so that's funny. that's how we are, it's too. So funny. We're so annoying. And, uh, and I was like, oh, so me as a human bidet could have been avoided. <laughs> yeah. And she was like, I think you should go. And I was like, if I drive home right now, I'll blow like a point zero zero shit. You're like, bitch, <laughs> your heat was seated and everything. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Come on. Damn. So, so anyways, no more ass eating for Delvecchio. Have you ever gotten the ick from a woman like that? <laughs> like she's going to town on your dick and you're like, oh, babe, you got to stop. No, she didn't get the ick from me eating her ass. It was the fucking Hillary Clinton <laughs> stuff. <laughs> and she, she was just like. thought that eating ass could get that. You, but once you get the ick, there's no going back. That's right? so, I mean, she let you eat her ass. I, I know. I, she was just trying to get hers, I guess. Oh. Right? Okay. He's so, my, he's, oh, he's already here. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well get my ass eaten. <laughs> So anyways, I told that story <laughs> on stage. Oh, yeah. And it was a good joke. You were working the punchline, the breathalyzer part. But the guy outside that rec- that I see at Barney's all the time, which is like a popular sports bar, he was like, how'd you think that went? Oh. And I was like, well, it was pretty good set. People were laughing. Uh, <laughs> the cold opener sucked, so like it was tough to get him started. And she goes, you seemed a little drunk. You know, you're talking about eating ass. You just seemed like cocky up there. Maybe like self-deprecate a little more. And this guy oh. is not a comedian or anything. I'm like... Oh, okay. Thank you. Now I'm in my head. I was like, did my cocky? Like, do I come across as cocky? Because my first joke is like, uh, hey, guys, fucking recognize the F-boy, fuckboy island. But I was misled when I got cast. I didn't get to fuck any boys. <laughs> and then it goes into what me gang, being gay, possibly. Like, Damn. I don't I, know. So I was like in my head about it. But that was the only also, guy that said anything. So maybe he's just a prick. And People like, never think about like how other people are thinking in that moment. Like he wasn't even contemplating that your confidence could be you hiding insecurities. Are you trying to make yourself feel better and like faking it till you make it? So he was so concerned about how he felt that he couldn't even think of you in that moment. Because you know the number one fear in the world isn't death or spiders. Public it's public speaking. speaking. Really? 
Yes, public said number one. So someone would rather die than get on stage and do what I do. This is just in mm-hmm. like objectively Damn. looking at it. So that's, that's why f- girls love comedians because oh, love comedians. They fucking one sense of humor is attractive, mm-hmm. but two, seeing you on stage that's something they could never do in their life and most not ninety nine point nine percent people can't won't. Yeah. That's attractive to them. That's yeah. so true. My favorite thing, like growing up what like turned me on about guys and made me like them was who was a good public speaker. So the kid who could present in front of the class and bullshit and was go. so confident. Yo, popcorn I would reading? Lo- I would look I at that. I would hold that, that bag shit. of popcorn for a while. Oh, Teacher yeah. be like, okay, Marco, so someone, <laughs> someone, like, no, no, someone this is try to jump time. in. I'll be like, Tyler, shut up. So George Washington. <laughs> you just yeah. punch him in the face. Yeah. Like, Tyler, fuck Tyler, you. you know the drill. This is my class. <laughs> Okay, so I had a guy tell me recently that women being funny isn't even in the top five characteristics that men look for in men. Mm. And then the day later, I had a guy reach out and be like, I was interested in you because of your personality. Like, I thought you were cute, but then you made me laugh all night, and that sold it for me. I only want someone who thinks I'm funny. Yeah. I cannot date a guy who doesn't think I'm funny or tries to undermine it. Like, yeah. you're a pussy. Get this away. This could potentially come off weird, but I would I, I think a sense of humor on a girl is more attractive or more of a requirement than her being funny if she can't understand Mm. my jokes and like banter and be funny Mm -hmm. with me that's a no-go i can't do it she doesn't have to be funny in her own self she just has to understand it she just has to like my funny yeah she just has to (laughs) laugh at my jokes Like your mama's I don't boy. want her to be funny. I'm the star. <laughs> Is that true? So like, would you Shut date? Up. Would you date? A- oh. You listen. <laughs> listen, it's her turn. Okay. My yeah. turn. Sorry, it's totally my podcast. This would never work. Okay. <laughs> would you like date? Because I, I heard you all talk about on your podcast. Would you date somebody who's famous? Oh, 100 percent. Really? I'm what def- if they were more famous than you? Like, what if they're funnier Pref- preferably. than you? Preferably. She'll be You're like, I'm trying to cloud fuck my way to the top. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm surprised. Like, I would love to have a celebrity girlfriend and stuff because I think just like that whole, I don't know, it's a weird reference to that guy from Vanessa Hudgens, even though it's dated. Mm-hmm, yeah. I love High School Musical. Like that, like a uh, celebrity couple like that would be like, cool. I, I feels like it, but maybe not because all the attraction. Okay. Because you want to be like a late night game show host, right? I want to be a, like a Tonight Show host tonight with Jimmy show, Fallon. Sorry. Yes. Or game show host, like anything hosting. I So the I hierarchy of comedy, team. as you know, is cold open, host, featured, main. Yeah. I want to host. I want to keep going on stage. I want to like introduce people because my whole thing is stage presence. I'm a firecracker up there. Okay. And every night is the 4th of July. Um, and yeah, so I love hosting. I could see you being a very good host, like for the Oscars, like yeah, interviewing it was people. Than Joe Coy. <laughs> oh God, yeah, that was. He's getting a lot of flack online. Yeah, I just, is it because the why? Why? I think t- Swifties. I didn't watch it. Swifties so, are riding for him happened. right now. Like all of the Taylor Swift fans are like, he made a t- Taylor Swift joke, and it, the way they cut the camera on the Golden Globes made it look like Taylor didn't like the joke. Oh, so now no everybody's way. like, "Fuck Joe Coy," because but he it, made Taylor Swift sad, and it's like it's he had ten days notice to prep for the Golden. Golden Globes. Think if you're a comedian, you're doing open mics. You never want to test your jokes on comedians. No. You're doing jokes about celebrities in front of the celebrities. That's like making a room full of comedians laugh. That's fucking hard as shit. Yeah. So people aren't putting respect on his name. I'm like, that's a fucking hard ass job. Yeah. He he was he was bombing, and then he. What I didn't personally like was he goes, oh, I didn't even write these. Like, he put it on his mm. writers. He said that? Yep, and he goes, I had 10 days to prepare. What do you guys expect on stage? And I'm like, okay, as a comedian, like, uh, you just, you need to own that you're eating shit. And it's your choice to get writers yeah, to write it for you and not bad. and not do it. So are these comedians That's not, not a good writing look. their jokes? I don't think, I don't know. I guess not. Aren't, isn't that like known that like most like Hollywood comedians are having everything written for them? Yeah, but if you do roast, people do help write your roast jokes. Like people like work on things. Well, that's things. true though like, too. Because I have like a couple buddies that don't do comedy, but they're hilarious as well. Uh, and they just send me some stuff sometimes. And like, I'll try to work it out on stage. And if it, it's funny it's funny so yeah. like it's the delivery too mm-hmm. i have a friend who loves stand-up comedy and she'll just be send me a premise yeah and then i'll write the joke but like she understands what's funny so I, like she's like my little ghostwriter yeah like how sick is this premise about a woman created a 2000 plus year old religion because she couldn't admit she slept with the neighbor wait how, i how, love that how does that work that and, is genius and then how about Joseph being the biggest cuck of all time and being like, son of God, 
That's the son of God. It's mine. Oh, you're talking about Mary? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was talking about a random woman, I and I was like, about somebody no, nowadays. I was like, <laughs> I was like, who is this lady? Did you see this on Reddit or something? I literally was like, yo, this fucking smart ass woman. She was like, I'm not admitting to it. I'm taking oh, it to the God. grave till I grave. die. She was like, I create a whole religion. Really you were talking about Christianity. Yes. Okay, sick. I'm Duh. glad we're on the same program. So it's tough to say that premise around certain areas in the country. Of course. I feel like that would kill in the Bible Belt. I would recommend doing that in front of a group full of people holding guns. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Might work in LA. <laughs> Uh, or New York would like that. Boston would like shit like that. Oh, Boston's pretty Irish Catholic. Very, right? yeah. No, they're hard. Like, Boston sometimes like the the <laughs> with me. audience, but they're very like intellectual. And like if you go to true. Cambridge, bro, they eat that shit up real quick. That's true. I've, but or you guys didn't even know what I was talking about, so now it's like well, that's we're so retarded. true. We're high. <laughs> okay. You, we are very <laughs> high. Like, wait, that is fucking genius. <laughs> saw your face i think that, i think he's onto something and, and i thought i saw, and your, I face. saw your face and i go oh he didn't like that for some reason he's like no, thinking i'm like, stupid oh she's got it i got her in i reeled her in <laughs> both oblivious that was jesus okay all right anyways uh, uh, trevor wallace has a great uh, premise of a joke while at tsa like Tell us. he got asked to walk back through mm-hmm and uh the fucking scanner machine and uh he and he was like fuck did I walk? With, now he's like trying to walk like he doesn't have anything. <laughs> like, how do you walk like you don't have a gun? <laughs> <laughs> how do you do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you can always tell when you're trying to avoid. Like, I'm like, I look more obvious yeah. when I'm trying to. Like, I'm driving yeah. and then there's like a cop and I'm yeah. <laughs> both hands on the wheel. I'm always like, are you okay? That's why I just lean the chair all the way back and I'm like, now lean back. That's what I do when I see a cop. You know I pretend I'm like- a drug dealer. Yeah, we did just for laughs. Um, oh, let's go. We we weren't on it. We just went yeah. I, um, for like a fun trip. And we had half edibles, half shrooms, gummies. And they were, they were so, so strong. Good. And we took them and it was chaotic and it was amazing. And I had, we had the best experience at Just for Laughs. It was the most fun experience. I love, have you done the goddamn comedy jam yet? No, where's that? With Josh Adam Myers. He's the guy who like sings like a rock like a rock oh, star yeah, he yeah, asks yeah, people yeah, questions yeah, yeah. yeah so he hosts the goddamn comedy jam and it's basically an hour long hour and a half concert with all comedians who get up and sing their favorite songs with a full band and so it's just a bunch of comedians drunk on stage partying and oh. everyone's in the audience like you're at a concert but it's all your favorite comedians that's so cool so we oh, watched sick as fuck. I think yeah. he's doing one in LA next it was like month. Bobby Lee really? Andrew Santino um, Santino fuck Santino's Mate- Mate- Mateo Lane Mateo Lane he has a great voice who else Oh, with the girls got to eat Don L. Rawlings. Yep. A couple other people that I can't remember. Nikki Glazer. Yeah. It was, a, yeah, it it was great. She was funny. Nikki's a sweetheart. By the way, congrats on this podcast. This is really fun and dope. And like the title, the whole everything, the whole branding is hilarious. Thank so, you. So sponsors, you fucking need to get on this before anyone yeah. else does. We're going to put just this as a clip. <laughs> <laughs> and then show our analytics. And like tag please all, help us. Tag all the people we want to sponsor us. You'd be fucking good with potentially Happy Dad, especially with like your Oh, for sure. Because just like your branding. What's your demographic? 50-50 men, women. Pretty much 50, 50 30. 18 yeah. to 35 and 35 plus. And we're both getting into sports, so she wants to do like... So we're both picking up pickleball? Yeah, no, she's going to do like uh, like UFC, like MMA, like fighting oh, shit. Oh, okay, and Ronda I, Rousey. And I, uh, I have, I'm on a sports Lane podcast. Bloomer, hey, I want to start beating girls' asses. I want a second degree black belt. I want to start getting paid for it this time, though. Wait, you're second degree... Oh, sh- I used Jesus. to teach karate oh my for God. like 10 years, yeah. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> Sensei? <laughs> He's like, I'm not fucking around yeah, I wasn't anymore. going to fuck with you, but now I'm definitely not going to fuck now with I'm you. Now I'm definitely going to fuck with you. you. Just I'm punches me in the face. You. <laughs> right here, right now. Right here, right now. <laughs> oh, he kills me. And you can see it on our OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. At OnlyFans.com. That would be cool. Just like a specific podcast clips or episodes that are bleeped out while you're watching or listening to it. And be like, this is on OnlyFans if you actually want to listen to this story yeah. specifically. Or but we could do we're it. on OFTV, like, so it's yeah. like a YouTube. Yeah, Patreon for- or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. Patreon, because then we would get paid. Because OFTV is like a free page. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, don't like you that. <laughs> Two girls should on Should we do an pod. intro? Oh, we should. Sometimes we don't do intros, and we, like, intro people literally at the end of the podcast. I kind of like that. Because we just are having so much fun. And this is, like, the real experience. You know what I mean? Like, they're in the hangout. You hey, still got me. Don't play baseball, okay? Stick to fighting. I'm gonna stick to the fighting, okay? Just throwing bows out <laughs> yeah. here. This is really great. Fighting with a baseball bat. 
<laughs> I got that in Florida, and that's better than most brands I've ever gotten in LA. Actually. What is it? It's good. And you can like adjust it on the bottom. I don't know what the battery life's like. Sarf? Oh. Uh, what some Russian Caesar? shit? Russian, some Russian shit. I, got I love some a, Russian shit. I got a restaurant where I ordered. Who do you stew. think? What uh, ethnicity of women? This, this was her. This was her. That was my. Fuck <laughs> 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 you. That was a little. Like this. I'm wearing my contacts and everything too. <laughs> really? <laughs> I just can't see, bro. I have to wear contacts. Same. I, I, I slept in mine last night. Me too. Yeah. I always sleep in them. It's bad. Did you do oh, one days or thirty days? These are one days. Yeah. But I also don't. Who's, who's buying but the like, case and the juice wait, anymore? Are we really Just throwing them, them out? out? Throw them out. Who's oh. throwing them out once a day? That's so expensive. I do the well, monthly. They're called one of these. That's what you get. 365 Yeah, a year. and then I throw them out like 14 days later or something. Oh. Don't they like slowly not be able to see anymore? I think that's what's happening. Oh, that makes sense. Why my vision's blurry? <laughs> it's all tracking. <laughs> Just this fucking have like <laughs> crust coming out of so dry. You're like, like what did I see? Yeah. Oh, I'm allergic to something. <laughs> it's just my pink eye. Yeah. Are you allergic to anything? From eating all that ass. Hey. Wait, do you get your ass? I ate? am allergic. No, because I I'm a cleanly guy and like. Uh, <laughs> You're a what? Yeah, I keep bitching no, no, yourself. No, like uh, it's hairy. I don't like how Wait, do you, you shave, shave your everywhere ass? but your butthole. How do you shave your butthole? Oh, I had an ex who would put you his go phone. Like this? And then you get in there, and then you do this, and then you go. From yeah, you gotta, sometimes you gotta pull a cheek to the side, like yeah. in the shower, and then. But I, with but what? I had like, a ex- like a like a fi- like a Gillette razor. A Gillette razor. What if I you know how razor? dogs. You know how male dogs pee with their leg Gucci off. Town. That's happened. I have done that. And then I, it hurts to put I don't want to do that, so I'd rather have girls not go down there. And when they me screaming but for like, buddy help from like cutting my asshole. You have a finger up there. Not a not a whole like fucking. Just up to the fucking a full fist. Up to the third scene, but like just the a little. Third scene. <laughs> Fuck you. Just a little, uh, just a little like tickle. No insertion, just a rub. Ooh. A nice. So this is my favorite. I'll she like you, she, she twirls you. your hair I'll inside you your butthole. <laughs> Bust out the beat, sister. We're going to Jamaica. Uh, no, I like when oh. she's like she's down there looking at it like. Like she's, a big. Who's she? Oh, is she giving you like a rusty trombone? Is that what's happening? No, 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 no. She's like, she'll lick it <laughs> here and there, but like... I prefer a hand job over a blow job. Okay. A nice lotioned up handy. Oh, yeah. Then you can make like the eye contacts. Yeah. You can throw a couple licks in here, and then on the other finger, she's just like grazing. You like straddle oh, okay. them, and then you're like talking, and oh, then yeah. you're just jerking I love a good them off. Make slowly. out hand job. Like, make out, like, I love like back and forth blowing me and coming back and kissing me. Oh, I love yeah. that shit. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's icky when you fucking blow out. Well, that's Kiss why you're saying you don't like job. pussy smell, but my favorite thing is like when a, a guy's smell? eating me out. <laughs> <laughs> a guy's eating me out, like, in, this in his my beard. car air conditioner. <laughs> Yeah, I have a fucking bus, air freshener hanging in my car. I gotta go to your car wash. I, have a, I got a candle. Um, but they come up and they make out with you, and you mm. just like it smells like sex, oh. and I can taste myself, and I'm I'm enjoying it. So I had I'm a bad like, experience the other night. I was uh, we having good sex. I went to Universal Studios and took like half <laughs> half. <laughs> studios <laughs> suddenly he's banned yeah, from universal I transformers and i transformed her i'll tell you that uh, yeah, no did. so it was half shrooms <laughs> half mdma pill oh but a microdose oh. so like you're both totally functional and we got the vip <laughs> tour guide so we were going through the exits of the lines and stuff it was sick just us do private tour it was sick uh and we got a discounted because there was no other tours going that day nonetheless so we get home and we're having sex best sex ever right on mdma and shrooms i've never done it Oh, never had shroom sex? No. Oh, it's so good. Oh, my God. It's so good. No, I don't have a lot of sex. So it, When's I, the last time you had sex? I have a counter. Hold on. 42 days since Two I've had sex. Friday. 42 days? Mm-hmm. After three days, I'm... Oh, Rachel fu- Wilson. After three days, oh. I'm paying. Wait, let me... Let me yeah. No, Wait, after three days, Answer, you're paying? No, I know, no. Saying. Rachel Wilson, I'll pick it up. She's on the, she's on the Rachel show. Rachel Wilson, you're on the podcast. How are you? <laughs> oh, my God. Am I really? Yeah. What do you want to say to the the fans? Stay high, stay positive, and uh, put a condom on it. (laughs) I don't agree with that last part. Yeah, no, get tested so you don't have to put a condom on it. That too. Um, Yeah. Yeah, all positives until until it's negative over here. Um, Amen, brother. Yeah, so, uh, okay, well, just let me know if you're going to a medical dysfunctionary later. Oh yeah, we have we do have some of the, like the laughing gas. I have like a I brought bud of it. Okay. Can oh, I get some show, from you? I have like an ounce of weed in my car. Yeah, yeah. We're we're oh. gonna. I know you have that 420 show. Um, Can you come? We're doing Uncle Laser's live pod at four. 
But we can okay, meet. So we can meet up after. after. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just okay. go to side splitters after. That's where it's at, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. And I'll bring Have it fun. there. Alrighty. Sweet. Stay in touch. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. You didn't even give her a smoochie, Mark. Marco. What the fuck am I saying, bro? Who wants a smoochie town? Who's going to smoochie town? Are you town? kidding me? I knew he would do this. Ooh, it's 42 days. Ugh. Ugh men God. are disgusting. Men are so disgusting. We I'm hate loop, men. But I don't care. Blocked. What's the worst thing you've seen your male friends well, do to a girl? Oh, yeah. So we're hooking up, oh. shrooms and Molly, and, I, and she's laying there, and like I spit in her mouth. It wasn't like a... <laughs> but it was like a sensitive, like... <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was mouth, nice. She was like... She was like uh, uh, and I was like... Her eyes was closed, and I thought she'd like it. I was like... <laughs> and she like pushed me off. She was like, "Don't ever do that again." Oh my god! So then you you spit on her in her. Spit her in her mouth. Okay, you know what's a, I think a it's, bad trait about me? I won't tell people during sex if I don't like something they're doing. I'll tell them after. So like, I wouldn't stop you and be like, "Please don't spit in my mouth." I'd you would be, take like, it. I would take it like the good girl I am, and then be like, "Hey, daddy, I didn't like that." Okay, please stop. We yeah, I always like that. take we it. More girls wait, like that. do you still have your bruises? Oh, oh my god. Oh, wait, so you like to get beat? I have. Oh no, oh, they're gone. I had lumps on my legs the size of eggs Why? from getting fucked into a bed frame. It hurt so bad, and I was like, I just have to take it. Like, I have to Does be. Does that good. turn you on more or no? Kind of, yeah. Oh, okay. But then afterwards, I was like, Can we they please were black not do and that blue. again? The black and blue. Oh no, tell me something like that. If it's like painful and stuff. Stop. No, what I. What about you? You seem like you have 42 days. You can't be. Are you that? Are you sexual? <laughs> I'm so sexual. That's why I can't. 42 days? You would have got some. Yeah, but I have willpower. We were both celibate for oh, over I two just, years. Oh, I don't I have want, I, I'm like, I want to. I just don't have willpower. Yeah. Uh, Neither of us were had sex for two years. We were celibate. Yeah. After Did our you last masturbate? relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, I, I have, I have a whole it? sex. I have a, a whole lot. drawer of boyfriends. All right. Nice. I want a white guy. I want a black guy. I want a ten incher. I got. I. I, I want one that's powered from a wall. I got oh. it all. Ooh. So, right. so you know, I just go in your shower. And so take anytime it. I'm like, oh, I, I'm gonna text him, or like, I, I feel that like need to be wanted and desired and want to be loved. I want to be held. I just want to hug. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like that's what I crave is like intimacy, not sex at all. So is there a dildo that comes with that? Yeah. Well, no. Like a robot. No, then I just like We're snuggle with my dildo, cats like, after. I love you. No, I need I need to be <laughs> hugged. I want, I, want to, I want like I just play Do noises. Want to brunch tomorrow. <laughs> I play sounds of happy families and oh, like yeah. and I'm just Kids like this laughing while you're masturbating. No, no, like like <laughs> just parents. Are you at the park? Parents <laughs> talking to you like they're supportive. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'm so proud of you, sweetie. And I'm like ah, oh. they're like. Do you guys get nervous before shows? Yeah. Yeah. Every time I have to shit. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. It's so bad. Wait, stand up shows, or the, like podcast stand -up shows. Stand up shows. Oh, okay, yeah. Wait, yeah. What, what shows did you meet? Stand up shows or podcast shows? Oh, like yeah. I have to shit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I did right before you came uh, in? Pooping. Yeah, everyone was I, shitting when you walked in. Yeah. Uh, why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh shit. All right. That's why I called you to see how far away you were. I was like, uh, do I have time? <laughs> Try to let drop a load off. Got to squeeze I the load out. I still lie, like even especially if I'm just starting like talk to a girl and like hanging out, like I'll still like not shit around her. Oh, same. I didn't shit for four days at a man's house very recently, and then I <laughs> farted myself awake, <laughs> and he heard me fart myself. <laughs> I fart myself awake all the time. It's so embarrassing, and I'm just like <laughs> 42 days of sex. I want to sleep next to you. The kid get a wink of sleep. <laughs> Emily. Yeah, she had a good conversation. Very pretty girl, but I can't sleep. I have insomnia because of her ass. <laughs> her butthole's winking more than he is. Yeah, God. Oh, what a guy. I'm literally, I just don't even care at this point. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. It's kind of cute. care about what, the <laughs> farting? That's like, that sounds like a condition. <laughs> no, well, first of all, it's not all the time. Does it's it not, wake you up all the time, not, too? It's not multiple farts. It's, this isn't a problem. It's an occasional, you're spending time with a man, you've been there, and then you just have one fart that wakes you up at 5 a.m., and then you check if they heard it, <laughs> and then you're both pretending to be asleep, and then you just go back to bed. I've never farted so it's loud happened to me and three times. Me up. This has happened to me a lot. Not loud, but like the vibration. <laughs> I get scared by my own butthole. So you think, you I'm like, yo, was that an earthquake? Like, what just happened? I'm no like, are we, is, did someone break into the house? Like, you've never farted yourself you away. You farted so loud, you thought someone broke into your home? Okay, just take it as a compliment if a girl does that, because that means 
you make her so relaxed and safe that even her butthole relaxes. That's it. Facts. That's You're a protective it. man That's if she it. can fucking fart in her sleep. I heard the loud farts though come from, because you, you probably have a tight sphincter, because uh, <laughs> loud farts, it, like, it has a squeeze out, so it's like... I think it's because like, the butt cheeks are pushed like, together, uh, and then it rolls up towards your pussy. Yeah, you have like loose farts that are like falling out. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just goes... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want like a, like a kid at a birthday party blowing out his candles, like... Bro, mine reverberate. Yeah, and that's, that's the butt yeah. cheeks. Yeah, that's why they're loud. I can't help it. Oh god. <laughs> well, also I sleep like this. <laughs> I sleep like I'm Do a serial. Do you when you sleep? <laughs> yeah, it's you good sleep for you. Like you're going sleeping on your back, so I literally will like. I also meditate, so I'll put my hand here. <laughs> you're here. going out a water slide. <laughs> and I just breathe and I do meditation, and so then my butt cheeks are literally like this together. And then you fart. It's just there's nowhere for it to go, so it just stays in it. <laughs> I don't know about that one, but look. listen, you gotta give it a shot. <laughs> That's true. Get some Taco so Bell. So would you judge it down flat and just hope for the best? What's okay? your Taco Bell order? Oh, I don't eat ass. spicy I don't. potato soft tacos. I, don't eat, ass. <laughs> I don't eat Taco Bell. I love Taco I Bell. I eat ass though for oh. sure. Do you both eat ass? Yeah. Voluntarily or unless you want to? Voluntarily. Voluntarily. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you into butt mm. stuff. <laughs> Not even like because I'm into butt stuff. No, but like shit. What if the guy is hairy? Would you still do it? I still. I eat don't it. give a fuck. If I'm having sex with you, it's because I like I like I'm. Uh, you're not a rando you know what i'm saying like yeah. i like trust you i can i've scoped you out yeah you know what i mean i can tell what your hygiene is or whatever yeah. i'm not just eating rando ass that's why i asked you I'm oh not gonna that was go, a rando I'm not gonna, ass yeah i'm not gonna go I'm, home but she seemed nice but a rando could eat my ass but uh, i wouldn't do it to the so other you, way that, you're that girl wait was that you yeah yeah <laughs> do you i didn't want to tell you but i dyed my hair I'm in an apartment in downtown Tampa. <laughs> You, ironically enough, you, like, fucking you don't look recognize like her. this place. I'm not gonna lie, you look like her. You want to see her? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not even kidding. You fucking look like her too. So that's the weirdest part. Died. And I was gonna say it earlier, and that's just it died. I Wait, do you have your name. vape, Marco? Yeah. This is her. her first <laughs> Toss vape. It. Toss me that bad boy. Oh! oh. Did he catch the fucking layup? <laughs> you taught the fucking Nolan Ryan two seamer. This is her. Addiction will make you good oh, at yeah, anything. Oh. Good catch. I played baseball. Which get a picture of fit. This, I know she's trying to be. She's, it's the intense eyes. Kind of looks like her. Was there a butthole? She's, she's, she's very pretty. Yeah, rightfully so. Are you gonna call her so, back? What if I just showed you like Lizzo? <laughs> yeah, you show us like a two, and I'm like, good for you, bro. Yeah. And you're like, but her ass that was, was amazing. <laughs> so I expect well, nothing so, less. That was a sneaky compliment. So you're welcome. Oh, have you ever fucked below you your league? Yeah. Out of, yeah. Did you say yeah. out of your league? Uh, below your league. Oh. Yeah, especially if like, you're all horned up. and. Last call of the night. Last call. You did God's work trying to get one and then what happened, so. Oh, dude, I, I used I to live in I New Hampshire. Like a, I won't go below, like, not that like, I hate rating girls, but I won't go below, like, a six. What's a six to you, though? Do you know what I mean? Everyone has different things that they like and don't like about people. You're going to show me a picture of a girl and I'll... And I'll do it. Yeah. This you know what's the, you know the worst? Bro. Well, listen. Your close <laughs> all of our friends are chuckle fucks. So. Yeah, they oh, are. Know. Yeah, we'll That's introduce a, you. Such a real thing. Do you it fuck is. fans? Not. I don't know their fans or anything. I don't view myself as that. But there is one that because I heard from a friend in New York that like, oh yeah, my friend in New York told my friend, my my buddy in New York, his girlfriend was like, yeah, my friend's fucking one of those guys from Fuckboy Island, and Peck was like, who? And it was me. So she was telling her friend that she's fucking someone from the show. Oh. So that, I guess you can consider that a fan of Chuckle Fuck. But like, for the most part, I've gotten more pussy since being more successful in comedy, yes. Yeah. Do I drop my Fuckboy Island tea? Do it. Sure. There was this guy who I was like talking, like not talking what to, season? but we'd like FaceTime the first season. But this was like two years before. And he was just like a weirdo. Like he gave me really weird vibes. He adds my family, my like my sister my friends is in all their DMs liking all their stuff like doesn't follow us it's like very weird behavior and she then slid in your fucking auntie's DMs <laughs> my, yeah yeah my mom was like yo who's this guy you know but my sister really was like who's this guy who keeps like reaching out to me and I'm like I used to talk to him this is so weird yeah and so I only I watched I only watched the show, but what's his name I just don't I'm gonna know bleep everyone. it out uh it's Oh, he seemed like a little weirdo. He's I don't a know weirdo. Him, I don't know him personally. He's a big dude. He yeah. had like a scarf on during the whole yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. So, so um, this isn't France, boy, French boy. Was that the one I was supposed to be in an orgy with? I don't oh, know. Oh, hello. Let's not or we'll pass that one. 
<laughs> so I met this really hot girl. I was on Tinder in my first uh, trip to Miami, and well, I you matched... just said hot girl on Tinder. That, was, that doesn't make sense. Well, so Tinder is for it Tinder was her is husband. a wildebeest app. It was her husband, and he was very attractive. And then he was like, "This is my wife. Would you want to fuck us?" And I was like absolutely <laughs> they were so hot no way like that's, she's that's cool beautiful and so we get put into a group chat and they're like we can make this happen why don't we like would you go, would you want to do like a like an orgy like a group whatever you can pick all of the guys and i was like yeah so they start sending me profiles of all these really attractive men so four people total it would have been like it would have probably been like six or something oh, so they wanted all guys and just two girls and there was gonna be me and then my other friend and then one of like her it was gonna be a huge hope they were gonna rent out a whole hotel for this and this they're sending me the guys and is one of the dudes in it and you picked him and i picked him because i was like he's a hot rip black dude of course that, i'm gonna he's gonna be packing a fucking yeah i was like what if this has to do it you? and so uh, interesting so we like he like we added each other on social media and just like talked here and there and never like we never even met up or met in person and it wasn't like sexual or anything we were just like becoming friends and getting to know each other but he just started acting weird but that was how i met him and then fuckboy island came out so i watched that just to see how he was and i was like oh he is a weirdo yeah. this is publicized on television now yeah. like I, my suspicions were correct so you didn't do the orgy no i never did it <laughs> oh. my friend didn't want to do it and i was also like very nervous i like it is nervous at first but i feel like if it is smooth sailing then it's like a but they were have uh, you done an orgy Everyone was like tested too. They were all like, everyone. Yeah, kind. Of, it was three girls, two guys. Oh shit! Oh, what did you do with the guy? We were just laying down for the most part, and they were just going to town on all of us, and we were just like holding hands. <laughs> you and the guys. No, me and no, I never do. No, <laughs> yeah, like, uh, never do any gay stuff. No, I'm, not, I'm just not into it. I don't mind guys being in the room and shit like that. I love gay stuff. But, uh, what do men do? I would like to watch two more attractive. Do you find more attractive guys kissing yes, each other? Yes. I would love to yes. have a bisexual threesome where we're all fucking and all hooking up and there's no sexual barriers. That would be the hottest thing ever. So a guy's fucking a guy in the ass. And the other one dude's eating my pussy for sure. And then that dick that was in his ass is going to go in your pussy. No. No, no. Clean it. No. Or I wear I, condoms. Condoms, yeah. Exactly. So that you can't have like a full set. Like they could be blowing each other oh, okay. and fucking me. They're both fucking me and they're making out and blowing each other. And Let's shit. just get down to logistics because I know yeah. a couple guys. <laughs> <laughs> Bisexual oh. guys. No, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Even if a girl made me. If you made me, like hey, suck his dick. <laughs> suck his dick now. <laughs> yeah. I'm like if you know you can't get this pussy. If you don't suck his dick, and I'd be like, would right, you do I'm, it? Right, I'm gonna go get something to eat. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do it. Okay. Yeah. You never looked at a guy and been like, mm, he's hot. I attract. I, I, I want to do all this crazy shit, but I can't. I see it. Like I, I, I noticing an attractive guy. I, my, my old roommate called me the gayest guy he's ever met. I just don't like penis. I love dogs. I love musicals. I love brunch. I love dinner parties. <laughs> I love smelling good. I you look like you drink a Cosmo. I don't. Oh my god! I, I love think fruity they would call you. I love fruity drinks like strawberry daiquiris. Oh, oh I love a strawberry daiquiri. But I can only have like six to seven because it hurts the waistline. Yeah, yeah. no, I feel you. Yeah. It, it makes me bloated. But like cruise ships are my fucking shit. I've never been on you one. You would rock a cruise I would, ship. I'd love to be in a boy band. Like I, I can see my that. My life would be easy if I was gay. Her. <laughs> Easier. Damn, you just had to like oh, vagina. Shit. Like I'd be ma taking care of, because all my DMs are gay guys. Not a single girl in my DMs. I'll show you. Not you a could be girl. Lance Bass, you, Bass you right, right now, sisters? but you like pussy. Three sisters. Yeah, oh. that's why. So you're just like comfortable with your sexuality and oh, your yeah, masculinity. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and that's why you know I was like, mean? Mark is gay. I'm like, yeah. You're like, no, I'm just comfortable with yeah. who I am and I'm fluid yeah. and I don't have to be like, hold this bravado, like I'm a man, Exactly, you know? but 20 bucks Which, is 20 bucks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or pack of Doritos. Who is a 10? Pack of Doritos, sign me up. Yeah. What, what's your favorite flavor? Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch, obviously. Yeah, don't. Oh, you basic bitches. No, what do you mean? Spicy what do you like? Nacho. You like nacho cheese? That's oh, basic. Spicy good one. nacho? That's a good one. The purple bag? Yes. That's bomb. Or the what if you had a mix of both and they made it like a variety pack that had the cool ranch and the spicy? I would love that. Ooh, I All would do mixed that. in one, that'd be fire. So you get a little yeah. bit in each bite. Yeah. yeah. Cause Taco Bell sauces, I like the heat of fire, but the flavor of hot. Wait, so what's your Taco Bell order? We we didn't even get to that. See, this is what happens when you're fucking stoned. Cheesy Woody to Crunch. That's it? Oh, one of those. I'll get a soft I'll get too <laughs> soft, too hard. Uh, yeah, cheesy Woody to Crunch, the Nacho Cheese, and the twelve pack of Cinnabon Delights. Oh, it's the best dessert Cinnabon in the fast Delights. food industry, yeah. Cinnabon Delights. Yeah. And two, you're, you're going to crave more. And then once the price gets up past four, it just makes sense financially to get the 12 pack. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well get two while you're at it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So uh, what's yours? I don't know. <laughs> 
one time I went to Taco Bell. Nice, the whole menu. Okay, cool. <laughs> Emily's like, whatever doesn't make me shit my brains no, out. No, I eat it even though it makes... It's a spicy are, are potato you, soft tacos. Are you, are you fucking vegan? I was for a long time, so I that's why her I love it. That. Don't worry. Good. No, I, I went to Poppy her. Steak, Good. and I had a filet mignon, and it was amazing. You had the Poppy Steak? Yeah. I did Miami for the first time with my ex two years ago, and I spent like two grand on dinners in four days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Poppy expensive. Steak, Sexy Fish, Swan, yep. uh, Carbone. Like, I did the whole hot spots or the group hospitality oh. shit. Poppy Steak, though, the steak was fire. So yeah, good. Poppy steak is so good. Thousand dollar steak where they do the. Fucking What's the point of that? The beef case flex to make people feel cool. They want to make it like a club. That's why people buy real estate in club. You're not buying alcohol. You're buying real estate, and like to feel cool. And like when the bottle comes, the presentation. It's all bullshit. Yeah, you're, yeah. I I'm, hate. When I'm rich, I'm still gonna do it. Yeah, me, me too. <laughs> The moment I made money, like I was weekend. making good money, and I was like, "Oh yeah, get us a bottle." Like, get us a bottle. yeah, let's pay five hundred fifty dollars for this little fucking nip of Tito's. Yeah, and then I'm like, I just got in a fight with everyone. Like, this wasn't even a good day. I didn't get laid. Why did I just spend a thousand dollars? Yeah. Whatever? So, what's your when you get home from like the club? Do you guys go out to fuck, or do you go out to like get compliments no. and act like it? No, I just no, go, I go out, out to, to dance. dance with my friends. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. I love dancing. We love dive bars. There's this dive bar yeah. near our house in downtown Miami. It's called. So it's like very, very dive bar. Yeah. And then it turns into at night, they get a DJ and it's like a small oh, little let's club. Fucking go. And it's the best playlist. Like all the hits, all different genres. Oh. They'll do Spanish Cyclone, music. Like, fucking yeah, things like that. Sexy kid. Everyone's yes, like young yes. and like attractive. And it yeah. turns into a whole dance party. And we can go in t shirts and shorts and look like shit and just be in there and we'll mm -hmm. be on shrooms and we'll be like, all right, yeah. you ready? What's this place called? I'm here in Miami. We'll okay. take it. 100 fucking good. But I go. hate yeah. when we tell people how good it is, and then they come and it's and sucks. they hate it or it does. I'm suck. a sports bar guy in the first place, so this sounds like an elevated sports bar. So pretty, it's worse than a Barney's sports Vino, bar. Have you been there? It's not even a sports bar. I don't think it's, it's like a TV. picture this room, but black. Yeah, it's like a dark, dingy place. They have like the Rolls Royce like lighting on the ceiling. You know the stars in yeah, the yeah. sky, it's which really is pretty dingy. Sick. I like it. Yeah. So uh, so back to the question, do you guys like at the end of the night is it like fuck, I need to find some dick? No. No. Really? No. No, I don't even look at guys like their dick. But what dick if a guy yet? wanted to and came up to you and was like, "Hey, do you no. want some dick?" I'd be like, "You can follow me on Instagram." So you don't fuck on the first interaction? No. I have I no. One night if, stand you don't do. I'll do a one night stand with somebody I know. And through, I've either known through them. social media like or they're, they've been a friend or okay. I've, we've been around and hanging out. Yeah. So because then I'm like I've gotten to know you on like a level that's not sex. And now I'm attracted to you, so like, let's fuck. Yeah. If I want, like, if I want to, and when I want it, I'm gonna do it. But most of the time, that's not happening. I don't meet a lot of people that's even worth doing that with. Mm -hmm. You know, it's smart. Yeah, and then when I do do it, it still, <laughs> still doesn't. You know, do yeah. you do a lot of one night stands? I've been trying to be less accessible, cause like. I go out a lot and I'm just so Yeah, you want a wife. You don't want a girl. That, you don't want to yeah. marry someone and then there you've been with all of LA. Yeah. <laughs> we go to like dinner parties and shit and like we're sitting at a table and then you know what you fucked everyone. Yeah, when you know every security guard at the club, it's like Oh, okay. Wait, that's us. I no, I do. <laughs> I'm that person, but then it's like cast a judgment of like you can like Oh, he's, I've he's definitely taken. Stuff, I've definitely taking fuck. all the guys to the same restaurant though. Like if a guy's gonna take me out, I'm like, let's go here. So I'm just like, oh, so you suggest a restaurant on the date? Oh, I do that too. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> um, it's Moxie's and Brickle. Okay. It's like chill. It has all types of food. It's like nice. It's like an elevated sports bar. Everyone in Brickle like dress. It's like a little. It's elevated, but it's not expensive, and the food comes out perfect every time. Sexy yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I take. Yeah. I'm like, oh, let's go there. The pregame spot, I think. Yeah, so I'm like, let's just go there, cause then I don't like care about going to Carbone or like a nice dinner. Mm -hmm. I'm, I do have a good personality. Like, are you a good person? Are you gonna call me after we fuck? <laughs> like, are, you that's know what I'm what saying? I like, am. that's all I care about. That's what I am. But when they do, the chase is gone in your mind. No, and I that those people, all I'm saying those is people that are the people I end up dating. They said this. They it happens otherwise. So you think that women are chasing more now? Like they want to hunt a man as no, opposed to being hunted. No, they want to be hunted. Oh, okay. So if a guy shows his liking for you too much, too quickly, it's like, oh. Have you ever seen How I Met Your Mother? Uh, some clips, yeah. So they had a theory that you can do something for somebody, and if you like the person, they'll like even the crazy shit you do. But if you don't like them, it makes you seem like a dommer, like a crazy person. So if you like a guy enough and he's showing that he's genuinely into you, you're going to like him. Because you like him. Yeah. It doesn't matter doesn't, what he does. Like this girl that she came over, we helped build a poker table and we fucked before Barney going to Barney's Beanery, which is cool. Fucked her on the poker first table? First night. First night. 
like hanging out. We matched on Raya a year ago and we just reconvened. Oh, okay. So we knew on like social media and stuff, but it wasn't anything serious or ever met in person. So we had sex and stuff and then came back after the bar and had sex again. And it was like great. Like fucking, she loved it. Mm -hmm. Came and then like I hit her up like two days later because I was waiting a day. <laughs> And then no answer. And then the next day she was like, oh, hey, what's up? And then it was like, and now it just fizzled out. I was like, what happened? And then I she probably like, has daddy issues. I think it's because you're accessible and you're like, maybe you know, shouldn't exactly. fuck on the first date. Maybe you have to make them work for a little bit more. If you are if like, because you're, attra you're attractive and confident. If you, a girl was into you and like you don't try or she like wants to fuck you and you're like, no, not yet. They're going to be, their brain's going to explode. Yeah. So just be less horny for a little bit. Yes. When guys don't <laughs> yeah. want, when guys don't want to fuck me, that I, makes me like ravenous for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then if you don't try though, is it but like oh, is he gay? Is why is he trying? But if we fuck and then you act that way, I don't like it. So it's only like before. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if like, if because uh, so don't people, make a move. If I hang out with a girl, if I go on a date with her, go back to my place. Don't make a move. Just watch a movie and then be like, all right, time for you. Don't to go. bring her back to your place. Yeah, don't bring her back to your. I have place. a nice Keep place. It, now, we, so we it's we like a pain drive. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Keep it at the date though. Like a house, pool, hot tub. It's like in LA. Like oh. girls will come over and be like, fuck, I want to marry this guy. Okay, so <laughs> take them there. I'm renting. Take them there. Like feed them, have some wine or whatever. Yeah. Maybe make out and then be like, hey, I had fun with you. I had fun. I gotta wake up early. Yeah, you're Here's a like, door. Don't say that. That's why I think you shouldn't bring them back on the first date. Because that opens the door for sex. So keep it the date. Say, hey, I want to see you again. I had a great time. Maybe even be like, I have a show I have to get to tonight. Like, I can't yep, stay past. Yeah, plan something after. So you're, you're not available for them. Have Plan another date. Show that you're interested. Follow up with them. Send them memes or however you do that. Yeah. And then suggest another date. Then you can bring them back to your house and it go to Smoochie like Town. Some horny. I jerk off once a day at least. Same. Do you do the Jopo? Jerk off, pass out? Sometimes, like, I love jerking off before bed, but it's like, sometimes it's on my mind. I'm like, fuck, I can't go to bed unless I rub one out. So yeah, I, I do always, the Jopo. <laughs> I, never heard of, I never heard the term, but. It was a very roundabout way to say yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do do that thing, like, when I jerk off and then pass out. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I ha always have to do that. Do you use but you're always like, you've been editing in the living room lately, and I'm like, can she hear my vibrator? No, I have How headphones, and I can't hear anything. How loud is your vibrator? Hopefully not as loud as your farts. <laughs> <laughs> it's a loud one. We it's have the Hitachi magic wand. It plugs into the wall and has a speed the controller. Wand, that's another story. Yeah, so I found like, a wand one time. Like, you can hear the vibration. You can feel the vibration, I feel like. Did you hear it when I was fucking Amber? The when vibration. I didn't hear it when you were fucking All right, him, so but I did hear you fuck the person before that the whole time so i kept trying to turn the tv are you on are you a fucking moaner it was just him, <laughs> him talking dirty and he's like yeah you like that and, and then like, it was like a smack and it was like <laughs> it just i just hear emily getting beat and i'm like some Yo. Bongos? and i'm like that's my girl and then i'm just like trying to turn the tv up no way emily usually if i'm having sex emily's like i'm getting out of the house <laughs> really <laughs> yeah i'm like i gotta go yeah she's like i can't wow, listen to this you, what do you say what, do, what is your thing i don't think i'm that loud what do you say it depends on who I think it dirty is. talk's hard. I'm, I'm a big dirty, dirty talker. Dirty talk's hard? Hard. hard like, hot. Oh. Like, goes hard. Yeah. I love... So... <laughs> Yo! So do you dirty, dirty talk? Do you dirty talk or do you just like yeah, her? Because yeah, some yeah. people... I like to talk and respond a little bit, but I really like to just hear a guy mm -hmm. say stuff. So, like, because I don't want to be... I want to be taken out of my head because I'm very up in here all the time. Yeah. So if they're, like, in my ear whispering shit while they're fucking me the whole time i'm just constantly in it and i'll respond and like do it back and stuff but that's just the hottest thing i had an ex who did that oh. and he would tell stories of like like role-playing stories like this is what's gonna happen and here we went like and i grabbed you here and whatever and we started fucking here and he would tell me this whole story so i'm like picturing something that's not happening and he's like he would just switch it up all the time yeah and i would just come super hard really i, I yeah. just use like oh i want to like lick your clit and like until you cut, like stuff like that and then <laughs> i like not the first date because it's a little weird or like the first time having sex but when i'm like i want this to be the only uh are you is this the only dick like whose yeah. pussy is this? Oh, I love like, being like, like this is your I don't pussy. Want any, I don't want any fucking guy to ever come in here. Like I don't like controlling shit. That's hot. Yeah, that's hot. Yeah. I think I like I, a misogynistic like man, kind of. Yeah, in the bedroom. Like, yes, a yes. little bit misogynistic. That's, I don't say it, yes. <laughs> it's hot. 
Like, like you're gonna do nothing but cook for yeah, me. I don't want anyone in it. This is my pussy, and this is your take. Yeah, that's hot. Yeah. Yeah. But then right after, that's, I'm like, I think that's why right does after, nobody want to marry us? What's going on? What's we're going great. On? Right okay. After, I'm, I'm like, like we're catching a new pussy. <laughs> and then we get up on stage and talk about eating ass and sucking yeah. our dad's dick. Yeah. yeah we, <laughs> Seriously. I'm like, why are we single? Oh, my well, entire wait, stand up set. You say sucking your dad's dick? I. That's one of my jokes. Is that you sucked your dad's dick? I did not. No. No. It's just a joke. Do you want to? No. No, no, no. Yeah, me either. Does he want to, though? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Good comparison for a threesome. There's two TV screens, right? And two football games are going on. And one team, you know, like, the game's a little closer. Oh. You know? The uniforms may be better. So you start paying attention to that game a little more. And I guess the only difference is that the players on the other fucking field aren't getting jealous. You know? <laughs> When the games are done, you just regret watching them both. That's why 69s <laughs> yeah. and threesomes suck. I can't do 69. I, can't I love 69. No, I really? Love I'll do it if I like love you. I, I'll do anything love if I 69. love you. It's okay. It's I don't want to have to be on and try to perform. If first of all, if I'm sucking dick, it's a performance. Like it's a I'm going all in. Okay, I'm taking my time, right? Like I'm worshiping the dick. I can't worship the dick if I'm also like oh fuck, and I'm like. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody's Worship doing the dick, yeah, yes, yeah. If somebody's eating my pussy, well, I've I'm gonna, I'm gonna not be able to even <laughs> suck dick. I'm moving to Miami. <laughs> I had a, my two last girls, guy. one blunt and one, one threesome. Yeah, oh. One, one, one warship. No, I don't do anything. I'll take the warshipping. Um, <laughs> Can I add <laughs> that to my card? Dirty talk, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my last guy wanted me to like look at him the entire time I like he that. was eating my pussy he was well, like I, oh, he, I love eye contact. he was like if you stop looking at me i'm gonna stop eating your pussy and i was like don't do that because i like squirm and like i get away you from you in control when when the girl starts vibrating while you're down there it's so satisfactory yeah satisfactory <laughs> satisfying satisfying <laughs> <laughs> yo that's some fag shit it's satisfying do you think it's gay to eat pussy gay to eat pussy he did before <laughs> he thought, he thought no, it was shit to eat pussy. Why would it be gay to eat pussy? Because some men think it's gay to eat pussy like it's beta. No. 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 It tastes delicious. It's like the best thing ever. I think if two people are worshiping I'm each pussy, other, I'm eating pussy on the first date, but you gotta do the test. What's How the do you test? test? What? What you should we walk? You do a little finger. And like. Oh. Oh yeah. See. So white, which is like, oh my god, I have an eye lash. See, I just <laughs> you get pink eye the next day. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... So, I think you're good to go. <laughs> I had a guy bend like, me over. Why do I have chlamydia in my eye? Yeah, oh my right? god! Imagine you can. You can get that. You can get like yeah. Um, you can get like even like herpes around your eyes or like there was a, a UFC fighter who like couldn't perform because he had like herp and herpes outbreak all over his neck. Like just like here. <sighs> Vegas. Yeah. That's where they fight. That's probably makes, where you got it. That makes sense. Have you ever had an STD? Yeah. Yeah. Have you? Mm -mm. I thought wow. I did once, but it was a bacterial infection. I thought it was gonorrhea. It was uh. a discharge, but. But it was on your dick? Coast is clear. What yeah. kind of bacteria infection? I don't know. That's what they gave me antibiotics shot. But it wasn't gonorrhea. That's what they said. So. Oh, shit. No, I, I remember. <laughs> Not that I know of. I, I could possibly I got... have herpes right now. Yeah, everyone but could. there's nothing visible. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I had, I, got, I found out, I, someone cheated on me and that's how I like, I got tested because I said oh, no. something was up and I had chlamydia and I was like, fuck. That and then sucks. I got lied to by someone who said they were tested and weren't. When did and... you lose your virginity? <laughs> um, so I dated this. I dated a guy for eight we're years. Gonna, we're gonna stop. We're gonna hold your response. We're gonna go to hers because I feel like it's super low. No, no I was twelve. No, <laughs> <laughs> it was my uncle. Uncle Gary. <laughs> Goddamn Gary. No, keep going. Here's she going. laughed like it was like a good one. It, no, it was literally just sixteen. I started dating this guy when I was fourteen. Okay. We dated for almost two years. So I lost it right before I turned sixteen. Okay. And he lost his virginity to me too. And we, but it was like two years of dating and when we were younger and nothing. And then we did it for eight years and we almost got married. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I didn't want to be a mil He wanted me to like follow him and be a military wife. And I'm me. I was meant to be on camera. And mm -hmm. I, this is what I've always wanted to do I since I was do this in the younger. Military. Yeah, I can't. And I was like, I feel trapped and I was like I can't do this and you only know me and his mother hated me because she was super religious and I came from a bad family and so like I was looked down upon and I was just like your family doesn't like me and I don't have family and you want like, I just felt mm. I love you you know what I mean like it was that, that high school love it was like real romantic and whatever but we went our separate ways but eight years oh Damn. the guy I lost my virginity to was such a dick 
We had sex like twice after a year of dating and then broke up and he went around telling the whole school I was a whore and that I fucked a bunch of dudes and I was what? like, I, I don't, he has it. I've only ever fucked you and I loved you. Oh, oh. oh. fastball with the wrong end of it. Underhand, baby. But he was such a fucking prick. I hope you go fuck yourself. <laughs> Is that his name? That's you his fucked name. a dude named I guarantee mine's worse. Go fuck yourself. So... <laughs> I went to an old boys Catholic high school. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait a second. And you've never done gay shit? We're going to get there. Uh, no, I was a pretty smart kid, but the only exam I passed was the prostate. <laughs> <laughs> so uh. she came to my prom. I was junior prom 16. And then I went to her prom the following night. It was a Friday, Saturday ordeal. And I lost it to her on a baseball mound in my little league field. That's hot. The Friday night. Holy yeah. that was shit. Like <laughs> uh, that was actually a good You're like in sounds. the fourth inning yeah, yeah. <laughs> Marco Devecchio coming fourth in inches. hot <laughs> And then I, we fucked both nights And then come to find out from a friend in high school on Monday That she fucking went to fuck her ex-boyfriend both nights <gasps> That you had sex? Yeah, and I lost my virginity to her She already lost it So like then my sexual inefficiency insecurities came Oh no So that's why I was like I thought I'd try to marry her Oh uh, but no, it was like insane. And that's why I go down now. I do I did for, I did for 10 years, but I go down and make sure you come until I get off. Because mm, like, I don't yeah. never want to be sexually insufficient. That's again. a real man right there. Yeah, no. If, Doing God's work. You gotta make them come <laughs> eating their pussy first or like foreplay and like yeah. build that up. And mm. then once you have sex, you're going to come a lot easier. And then there, the sex doesn't even have to be that long. It can last for like... After you fucking got, three minutes yeah. And so, yeah, yeah 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 i'm like i don't even care like get in let's feels great we're gonna come one last time i'm gonna grab the vibrator oh. and then i'm gonna pass out or just yeah hold you <laughs> we, just wanna, we just, just wanna be held we just wanna be held yeah i'm a big cuddler i like cuddling until it's time to go to bed and then i'm gonna turn oh over yeah and... but i have to be i want like my foot or like my leg to touch i want us to still oh, touch good, good touch yeah yeah go i want our legs to be tangled and then like our bodies very far away from each other <laughs> but you know what it says a lot there's not a lot like, of guys like a, like a wing i sleep like an l okay. <laughs> i'm at the foot of the bed <laughs> she's like curled in a corner at the corner Obtuse like a cat angle over here <laughs> but it says a lot if you can sleep and cuddle with someone have you ever slept with someone the whole night cuddling and you're like how did i do that because yeah. i can't with anybody yeah when that happens i'm like i'm i love you shout, shout yeah. out christina santa <laughs> oh you saw her like that have, have you done said act with christina no. no, no, she she's just a friend, but I she's the only person I've been able to literally like sleep like oh. on top of the see, whole night. See, girls do that, and it's like cute and hot, but like guy, guys, I do would that. love to, a guy friend who cuddles with his friends, like gives him a hug, gives him a little smooch, like it is a little bit gay. I no, like that's that. That's fine, but like all night. <laughs> So You're like, bro, it's been a that's it's gay. been a tough week, bro. Oh, great. That oh, was gay. Cuddling buddy, with your boys. My buddy Benedict Polizzi has the best joke. He goes, and I'm gonna butcher it. Girls are better kissers than guys because they get to practice on each other and it's hot. But when I do in my dad's basement with my friend Lane, I'm no longer a son anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Um, yeah. yeah, girls get to practice on each other and it's hot. But if guys do it, it's gay. You know, it's hot. It's hot. No, I don't know. No, I do get the no, ick sometimes. Girls, univer girls kissing each other is universally hot. Lesbians think so. Straight girls think so. And that's why they do it. And so do straight guys. No, I think that there's a, a line for straight <laughs> men where, like, for how gay you are. If you are actually straight, it, there's some men who are like, I'm very, very straight. And I'm like, you're crossing so many lines that I'm like, now I'm convinced while I'm dating you that you are gay. And do you know what I'm saying? And I can't, like... <laughs> you're not gonna like me and i'm already i'm like you know what i'm saying i'm like you'd prefer i think you'd prefer men and so if it goes too far they become unattractive you know he just starts going on his knees i was like all right gary i just want i just said do a smooch but if he was like <laughs> i'm bisexual and he was like that i'd be like okay fine because i understand where you're coming if from you're kissing guys you're bisexual yeah yeah you're not straight he's dropping truth facts on this podcast no, but go, then someone on my pod the other day was like well, it's a, it's a, it's open. So like if a girl kisses another girl, can she be straight or is she bisexual? I'm like, she's bisexual. But if a guy does it, he's definitely, does it, he was like, if you kiss a guy, does it mean you're gay? I'm like, yes. He no, it like, means you're no. bisexual. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not a spectrum because I will never kiss a guy and I don't want to. 
I'll do it for fun as a joke. <laughs> Get over here, give That's me what a, they all oh, say. Get over here, give me a smoochie. That's how it starts. Wait a second. But but before you know it, he's Especially knuckle deep. Molly he's stuff. three but knuckles deep. It's not deep. like I don't, I don't want to. It was a joke. You're like, I'm just laughing with my boys. I have to commit to the bit. <laughs> well, Let's make got, out. Yeah, I'm, I took the dick out of my mouth and started to think you're gay. <laughs> It was just a joke. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, oh, I God. feel like I could come to the sound of a crowd laughing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? There's nothing like that post-crush feeling. Oh, But only if they're laughing to you. Like, I wouldn't want to listen to a laugh track. I'd need to listen to my own set to come. Really? Yeah. No, I don't want to hear my own voice. <laughs> Wait, I just want to hear... hear your set or the laugh from your set. As long as I fucking crush that night, absolutely. Really? Yeah. What was the, what was your biggest crush? Johnny, fourth grade. I stuck a beat up my nose trying to impress him. I said it biggest got... crush, as in like your best performance. <laughs> your best set. performance. I know. I was just taking it in another direction, man. Oh, oh, you were kidding. Stick with the bit, okay? Oh, You'll shit. make out with your good. friends, but you won't stick it with me. That was good. Fuck you. That was good. I gotta stop telling you to go fuck yourself. I'm sorry. I love it. He's right. going to after. Anyways, he's Johnny. He's going to do it on the drive over. <laughs> he's going to rental. Thingy. Do you see that pinky? He was like, I'm going up there. Also, who waves anymore? I do. Yeah. No, but like a good like, hey, or like. I'm like, but hi. who's like this? <laughs> How weird is you this? Are. <laughs> For multiple seconds? Like this, you can smell the desperation. <laughs> or like, this? Come here. This is the worst. Oh, come here. Oh, God. No, you know what the worst is when you put your hand up for a fist bump and they don't see your oh. fist bump and you're just like, all right, yeah. cool. Especially if it's like someone that you don't know that well and like, like your friend can be like, get over here, give me one. Yeah. The worst, I always, I'm a victim of this, a real victim and it sucks every time, it breaks my heart. But I think someone's waving at me and I'm like, oh, and hey. I fart in my sleep. <laughs> Here's how you can fix it too. The last time I, well, not the last time, but the first time I fart, woke myself awake from a fart, I ended up dating him. It didn't work out. He but... clearly didn't hear it. He, he didn't oh, no. wake up. He's the one who told me. <laughs> he woke up. He woke up. <laughs> woke you up. It was like, hey, just to let you know, don't let that happen again. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was like, give me a warning so I can go under the covers. No. So, so he, he can like dutch up at himself. Up. I was like, hey, we got hey, to set some <laughs> boundaries here, sister. No, he literally, he, it was when I woke up in the morning and he said it was cute. Um, he was like, that was so cute. And I was like, that was the most embarrassing thing creepy. of my life. Now he's a problem. Maybe he was he had a baby. Why, so I think like what about, you, what do you like about her? I don't know. She's fucking beautiful. She has a sense of humor. Oh, here's my favorite. She farts in her sleep. <laughs> I, I want she a far- man to talk about she me like that. She farts in her sleep. She's yeah. a nighttime tutor. I can't get enough of it. A nighttime tutor? <laughs> She's a nighttime I tutor. I tutor beans purposely in case I just don't want to sleep that night. Could you date somebody, though, who had a fart um, fetish? No. <laughs> Like I've had they guys, like smelling it or they like hearing it. Like he's it? getting up in my cheeks. He's like, oh yeah, baby, keep Dude, going. Leave it on me. Leave it on me. <laughs> yeah. What if I shit like on a him? Salt? I I had a, a man ask me to fart in his face once. Oh. And I was like, no. Yeah. What's the weirdest? And then he was ask? like, I'll pay you. Is that 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 was probably the weirdest? Yeah. Ask. He was like, shake it in front of me, and I just want to smell your farts. And I was like, I'm. Shake, shake. I got shake, offered. Shake, my, <laughs> to smell my your body line. <laughs> wait, I, I got wait, offered ten wait. grand, and I couldn't. Oh, I got ten grand. I got off ten grand to get my dick sucked. By who? A guy. Uh, a man. It's a prince of Saudi Arabia. No, you didn't. In LA, swear what do you God. fucking Bella had to eat up in this bit? I, You're about to go get... I was at a party first month in LA. I was at this like rich guy's house, and I got offered that. <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, a bunch of your friends do it, and that's how they just get you." And I was like, "No." And I told my friend the that's next. That's how they get you. You find it. You're like, "Bro, am I the only one?" Yeah, I'm <laughs> I the only we rich all one. Did this. Yeah, I'm making racks. I thought uh, this and was I told my buddy the next day, and he was like, "Doesn't make a gay." <laughs> and I'm like, all right, so clearly you took that offer. Uh, no, and he was like, no, like you're an entrepreneur. That's and I was like, so funny. And I was like, owner. You're right. I wouldn't have to be gay. I it's just have for to like capitalism. Clo- I have to close my eyes and think of like Tom Brady. Or he something. just wanted you. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> what are you, his son? No, I, I love Tom Brady though. Oh fuck, Tom Brady. That's my are you a Pats fan? Yeah, and now now a Bucks fan, ironically enough. But yeah, yeah. <sighs> Damn, I grew up with season tickets to the Pats. That was me and my dad's thing. To the Pats? Mm-hmm. Where are you from? I'm from. We're from. I'm from the South Shore of Massachusetts. I'm from Hall. Oh, that's why we get along. We're from Boston. Yeah, I went to Brown University. Okay. Well, no, that's a lie. I had a full ride to Brown University, but I went to Tabor Academy on the Cape, and I got a scholarship to play Brown uh, football, and then I did Legally Blonde the musical. And I fell in love with acting and dancing. Who were you in Legally Blonde? The UPS guy. We were theater kids, too. The UPS guy? Do you think theater kids are the (laughs) horny? (laughs) (laughs) We like the dance. (laughs) Anyways, back to me. (laughs) Um, do you think theater kids are the most horny like stereotype in high school? For sure. Yes. Who's they hornier? Suck. 
The, who's hornier? Hornier. Who's hornier? And is anyone oh, hornier? Oh, the horniest kids is it, in the house. No, is it, is oh, it the theater know. kids? Oh, I don't know. I don't know their sex lives. The but. theater kids or the goth people? I think theater goth kids. Goth or theater for, for sex hungrier? For hornier? <laughs> <laughs> Me hungry <laughs> for... I can't mean, just say hornier. Sex hungry. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just like making more work for myself. Uh, sex hungry. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm sex hungry. I'm oh, sex hungry. I'm gonna Who start else? saying that. Do you mean horny, Marco? Yeah. But no, sex I'm sex hungry, hungry sounds like I'm a monster. All right, wait. Two seconds. It's gonna be five. That's what I say. It's something you said. Yeah. You should just sleep. Uncle Laser, you're on two girls, one blunt. How are you? I'm fucking miserable, to be honest. I'm pissing shit out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? I feel like dog. Where? What's the plan? Y'all coming there? What time y'all gonna be there? We're finishing up a podcast and we're probably gonna leave soon. What time are I you gonna bet. be there? I'll see you uh, about three thirty. Yeah, we'll be there around the same time. Yeah, all right, we'll be there. All right, okay, bye. All right, bye. <laughs> what a guy! <laughs> He's like, I'm shitting out of my ass. <laughs> Uncle Where Lays. else would you shit out of? Uncle Lays. How'd you meet him? He um, seemed like a cool so, guy. Yeah. So I have a friend. He does like a bunch of um he like books sponsors for like Coachella and major events and stuff. And he had been following uncle laser and met him once. And he was before uncle laser started comedy. He connected us and was like, you should get him on the pod. And he introduced us and he was like, yeah, I'm down. So we'd been talking for like a year trying to get him on the pod before he like did comedy. And then he blew up on kill Tony and everything. And so that's like when we got him on right this after be on the festival. Hmm? This podcast should we we, should we a live scene. should we did reach out and yeah. they just left us on scene yeah you should do a live one yeah so, now we have like we have a ton of people now now that we're here that are putting our names in for for next year our live show was insane really yeah mm -hmm. we had like a twerk contest we wrapped strings around people and the string at the bottom of the string had a hot dog and we made them hump to the song my dick got a <laughs> your dick got HIV my dick got a PhD you know that song yeah and so they're all humping the hot dog and trying to catch it in their mouth yeah and it was everyone on stage so everyone's cheering the moment one guy caught the hot dog the entire audience stood up and they were uh, like yeah it was so cool. good it was it was so, so fun. Good. Wait, should we introduce you really quick? Podca podcasting <laughs> yeah. with people who know how to podcast is yeah is the best. Amazing. Exactly. Especially comedians it's, you can riff off of, too. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. like, oh, this is so good. When we have similar senses of humor, it's amazing. Exactly. Guys, welcome back to Two Girls, One Blunt. Today we have on Marco Del Vecchio, a hilarious stand-up comedian. He was on F-Boy Island season three, and he is your favorite nice guy. Guilty as charged with the nice. <laughs> you, did, you do seem like a good boy. I am a good boy. Like, I was watching like, your podcast. I looked at her and I go, he's a good boy. <laughs> it's this character I'm playing on Smoochie yeah. Town. Shout out Smoochie Town Pod. Uh, <laughs> that's literally a character of like the dates and like the gr girls will come up to me and be like, please don't put me on your podcast if we're doing this. I hate when people say that because if you're talking to me, I'm going to talk me, about you. Don't give me a story to put on my podcast. Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. And then like the people one. will treat you like shit and then get mad you talk about it. And I'm like, don't, don't get mad. I'm exposing your bad behavior. Exactly. This is my platform yeah. and you chose to fuck me, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. or like be my friend. Exactly. And then girls will blame like on their sign in LA, like their sign's a big thing. They'll blame their poor behavior on their sign. They're like, oh, I'm a Virgo. They'll hit you with their car and be like, I'm such a stag. <laughs> and they're like, I just don't give a fuck. And I'm like, yeah, no, you're like, a piece no, of shit, you're Rebecca. You're a driver, you're Becky. <laughs> Do you have a lot of girls ask you for your big three? What are they? <laughs> for my penis? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Thank you. It's five. Uh, <laughs> so big three, what's big three? Big three is like your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising. I didn't even know what that was, so no. But I'm a oh. Gemini. That... Adds up. I don't know if you guys are new. I'm more so into like spirituality. So like zodiacs play a part in it, but not Apparently like the you mainstream. Worship penis, so. Yeah, I will die for that dick. Die for that if dick. I I will it. Suck if I love it, suck it dry. Like it's the last bit of water that in a desert. That is fucking hot. <laughs> Should I leave? Let's play this game before. I <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna play same, same but different. So there's two cards: the blue and the red. Mm -hmm. The blue is basically a. PG scenario. The red is a more dirty scenario. So for an example, so so safe and risky, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Something you can say at your Nana's funeral and when you tear your scrotum. Okay. So I just pick one of each. <laughs> this hurts so much. <laughs> I'm in so much pain. <laughs> oh, I wish Nana was here so she could sew me up. <laughs> Everything reminds me of her. <laughs> 
I'm confused. So something you can say, your name is. Do I pick a card now, or do we? No, I no, go you're gonna riff off of yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, okay. We, yeah. So what we, is it? we read it and then we all riff oh, off okay, of cool. it. And, and give you can our read answers. cards and we too. Can, we don't have to give one answer. If you keep having them, just keep. <laughs> I thought there was a competition. Like, I'm gonna beat you, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I'm gonna have five cards by yeah. the end of this. Right. Do you want to read? Okay, yeah, something you can say, your nana's funeral and when you tear your scrotum. Thank God rest I rest in peace. <laughs> oh, rest in peace. Rest in rip. Rest in peace to this dick. Oh, rip. Rest in rip. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew it was That's there somewhere. All right, All right um, somebody else go. Something you can say while babysitting. Oh God. And while getting roadhead. Kugu gaga. Oh, daddy uh, likey. That will be twenty dollars. <laughs> stay, stay down there. Stay. Just sit. Yeah. <laughs> My rate's twenty dollars an hour. That's not bad. Do you need gas money? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my phone's blowing up. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna do blue or red first. You read blue, blue and then okay. red. Something you can say. Now I understand the prompt, premise. The premise, premise. <laughs> Something you can say while brushing your teeth, and while getting a happy ending. Look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something you say while brushing your teeth and while getting happy ending. I'm so sorry, but I have the worst gag reflex. Ooh. Mm. Why, why, yeah, why would you? Because I have a vibrating toothbrush, and if it goes too far, I literally like gag. I have a bad gag reflex for smells and random things. And you want to suck a dick dry? But it, I, I, but I can, I can deep throw. So, like, I, that's I mean, fine with dick. I don't have it with, like, just the gag reflex as much. Dental I'm the same way. I, have to, I can control it. So, like, when I'm in dick sucking mode or whatever, I can not have it turn on. But if all of a sudden something, like, hits me or goes too far and I'm not expecting it, then I'm like, you know? Yeah. I might throw up a little. I like this I've never game. thrown up on a date. What? You're thinking about it. I have. I have. Never no mind. Way. I like how you just closed your legs. Not, no, 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 no. It was just like bile comes up and then I swallowed it and kept sucking dick. Yeah, like they don't know you. they happen. Oh. They're like, oh, it just yeah. got really wet for a second. You're like, oh, I don't mind that. Yeah. Yeah. Something you can say during a snowstorm and while hooking up with your teacher. S- school's out. <laughs> <laughs> What a fun oh. Christmas break. There's going to be a snow delay. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun Christmas break. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Pizza, french I, fries, pizza, french <laughs> fries. <laughs> I hope this doesn't ruin the school day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, your turn. Something you can say while getting your braces tightened. Oh. And during shower sex. Why does it hurt so bad? Yeah. <laughs> we need more lube. Yeah. There's. there's Ooh, I broke an elastic. <laughs> Condom. Wait, yeah. why would you have a condom on during shower sex? I don't know. That sounds like the most frictiony shower yeah. sex already sucks. Shower sex? I hate it. Uh, but so like, I'm like, can we just go to the bed? Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I'd rather. i have like, I'd rather get head in the shower. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, I like that. Get head in the shower. We get out. You, sexy. you fuck me against the mirror. Yeah. Then we turn to go to the bed, and it's a whole th- production. But not. <sighs> I don't want to be in the shower. I'm saying same with that with Roadhead. Like I'd rather like wait. wait until I you love get home. Roadhead. I love oh, Roadhead. I can't do both. Head. Hey, that will make you the safest driver ever. Yeah, but why can't if they I'm do both? Roadhead, I'm like I don't want any. Like I'm not getting pulled over. I'm going the speed limit, and I'm like. I once gave my. Right, right, right away. <laughs> oh, you're doing the flame. I'm doing oh the my flame. god. <laughs> you're like hi, hi guys. Guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm getting rude. <laughs> no, I was giving my boyfriend, like my four-year boyfriend. Wait, that makes it sound like I'm fucking. Do you a kid. have a boyfriend? No, no, no. This is when I was dating him. I gave him roadhead, and I look up and I make eye contact with a whole group of people <laughs> as I'm sucking his dick. I was like, "Oh, hi guys!" And then I went back down. Did they? Acknowledge? Everybody was cheering him no on. Way. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Were what you a on trooper. college campus. What a real woman. <laughs> I was on the highway. <laughs> a 95. <laughs> I-95 North. Wow. Fucking Bro, we fast were zooming. The over oh, here. I love a car guy. Was he driving your car? We you love a car guy. No, no. This is the one who had a car. Oh. Yeah. So, <laughs> you like guys like to have a car? I really Big do. car guy. One time I dated a guy without a license, so we won't talk about it. Me too. And a bank account. <laughs> if you don't have a car, I if think a guy doesn't homeless. pay for the date, then you're not a man. But what if he paid in cash? He's a man, but a little sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, where'd you yeah. get this cash? He was yeah. sketchy. Something you can say while getting a haircut and while being possessed by the devil. Just a little off the top. <laughs> if you cut me, I'm going to fucking kill you. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you. The end one was the devil? What was it? Well, being possessed by the, by the devil. 
I like it. That was a hard. That's a hard one. Yeah. All right. Something you can say to your dog that just peed on the carpet, and when your mom finds your browser history. Bad girl. <laughs> 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 You've been a bad boy. Yeah. Hey, you're sleeping outside. Yeah. <laughs> that one was like they're getting harder. Oh, you liked what you see. You liked what you saw. Um, something you can say to the lunch lady. Not Android. the right place to mark your territory. Yeah. Something you can say to the lunch lady and during a drug test. You got the good shit today. <laughs> I don't know. Sloppy Joe. We haven't had the good shit in a while. This one sucks. So you're about to see some sloppy Joe. Oh God! Stool, sam- stool sample. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. Oh my God! Something you can say as a sports commentator, and when you get cum in your hair. <laughs> well, <laughs> hopefully this unnecessary is- spitting. <laughs> Illegal use of the penis. It's a washout. <laughs> Illegal use. Oh God, that's a red flag. Red, there's a flag on the plane. <laughs> there's yeah. a flag on the plane. There's a flag on the plane. <laughs> Where? Where? <laughs> that was a fag on the plane, yeah. Marco. <laughs> well, this is excessive been- celebration. <laughs> oh, okay. And this has been Marco Del Vecchio. Hey. <laughs> Do you have any last words you want to say to the audience? Yeah, uh, keep going with this. I fucking love it. I had a good time. Shout out to Girls we love One you. Blood, one of the best podcasts. Uh, Aww, you guys shucks. are hilarious. Uh, you can catch me around uh, LA performing. You can follow me at Marco Del Vec, at Smoochie Town Pod, where we just talk about getting, bringing people to Smoochie Town. Um, <laughs> And yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for. I want to go to Smoochie Town. I was going to say Town. thanks Next for having us. Next time you guys are in LA, you're coming on the podcast, and we can all go to Smoochie Town together. Hey. Wait, what if we went on a triple date, and then we talked just about had an orgy? <laughs> no, 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 like, but like, we Wait, all, the we, third person? we all match with people on on dating apps. We bring them to the same oh. restaurant. We make them, we make them all sit, and then we discuss afterwards. Yes. We should do that. And w- are we all sitting at one big table? No, no. I think we're all at separate tables at the same I don't restaurant. Know, she was just like. <laughs> Yeah, we're all gonna converse. I think it would be so <laughs> funny if it was filmed like reality TV and we each had cams on us and then we went we're to the bathroom and did a confessional. Row, in a row. Like a smaller restaurant. And they don't at know we know each other. We, they don't know yes. we know each other, but we overhear each other. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's the weirdest question and we and, try not to laugh. Or or we all start saying weird shit that on would our be dates. So good. I'm like I'm like, yeah, so that's when Yeah, like how do you what's your opinion died. on farting when you sleep? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you love me if I was a worm? Yeah. Oh, uh, I just start like confessing my love. I'm like, so how many kids do you want? Do you want to get married? I, I think I'm going to start I'm asking that on dates. I'm going to start asking if they want to get married, if they want kids, like everything up the front. The really important questions that we should be asking yeah, instead I've, of favorite sex position. Yeah. I yeah. feel like, yeah. When I, when I went celibate and like I did go on dates, I didn't even talk to guys or go on. I, the amount, everyone's like, you must be dating a lot. And I'm like, no one's making it to the point where like I would go on a date. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like they're, they get too sexual right away yep. or I can tell like where their intentions are or they're not yeah. clear. And I'm like, Oh, okay. So those people weren't even considered. So people I was going on a date with, I got so high. I lost my train of thought. That's okay. But you know, we're going to wrap up there. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that's two girls. <laughs> one I'm going to get more high. We're going to do our live pod with uncle laser. Yeah. You're gonna when go is to that your, tonight? Yeah. We're both leaving for our shows right now. Oh, that's, Oh, your pocket. Where is it? It's uh, in gimmick, Tampa. The gimmick. Oh. Oh, sweet. Fuck yeah. Yeah, like 20 minutes. We're going to come to I'm Side Splitters, splitters I'm after. Side splitters. Yeah, go right after. All, All right. right. Sweet. We'll right. see you guys later. Bye, guys. I love Bye. you. Bye. We love you. Love you. See you next Tuesday.